hey this is jitendra again and uh, today i am going to explain uh, how to start with git in easy way so uh, to getting started with git first we need to install a git client so you can say you can search google uh, with install git so uh, here you will see the download for git so you need to install it on your system and the next step would be like you need to install a git client so my favorite git client is tortoise git you can install it from here uh, google code so these are the installers and it is very good client uh, if you go back to my blog again and previously i have written an article on the same uh, using egit and eclipse so here uh, you will see uh, that article it explains uh, about git and eclipse how it works with the egit plugin but i'm going to explain kind of the similar article without any dependency on eclipse so let's see uh, how it works so once you install a uh, tortoise git from uh, this place you can go on your system create any new folder so let's say i'm saying folder name as a demo and you can simply click right here right click and say git create repository and click ok so tortoise git has already initialized uh, this folder as your git repository and then you can say uh, one file here let's say any file this is test so now you want to commit it locally so you right click on here say git commit and you can say okay add this file and the commit message would be this is demo of git and commit it so now what basically we did is like we committed file local on your system so let's say let's want you want to commit this on uh, your repository maybe on github or maybe on bitbucket so let's try and go with bitbucket.com you can choose any client but my preference normally is a bitbucket bit because it provides me an option to create a private repository so i'm going here i'm saying create a repository and i am saying demo on how git works and you can see the repository type is either git or mercury and then create a repository now once you create a repository uh first step basically is to generate a key so once you install a tortoise git you will have a putty key generator automatically installed so first let's generate a key so just move our cursor randomly here so that it will create uh, some combinations of key now we have option here uh, if you see the key type is rsa if you want to make a key type as a dsa so you have to select here and then try to generate a key again and then you will be in a you need to go in manage account ssh keys and you would need to add a key give any name here copy this public key and paste it here once it's done you would be basically need to create a private key you can save a private key somewhere so i already have a private key installed i'm just cancelling it so for this public key i already have a private key so let's see how it's all going to work so go back on your folder right click here go to the tortoise get and then go on settings now there is a section which says remote so just give you a remote name let's say bitbucket go back on your repository where you just create where you have just created a Okay, I will go back here. So, okay, demo on how Git works. Now, this is first time I'm saying starting from scratch. So, just copy this and paste this URL here as well as here. Then select your putty key. So, I have a 2 bit bucket account. So, I'm going demo on this org. So, I'm saying uh, 
let's use that key for the authentication purpose let's apply it say yes and okay so it will basically fetch if any already if there is already any folder on this git repository so if you see it's success nothing is here so we already have committed uh, something in this folder let's commit it to the server so you have to go on to authorize git and push so push will basically move all committed changes from your local system to the remote git repository you can enter here either master or you just keep it blank it will pick up a active branch uh, normally the master branch and click on ok so if you see it says successful go back on your git repository here demo on how git works if you see there is already one master branch here and let's go back on source so here this is a test document so this is the same file we committed here i hope it works uh, thanks for watching it keep watching on my youtube channel i will upload more videos if you have any request for any video please let me know thank you very much